be, people could be there drinking their beer or drinking their whiskey with with heritage uh, made out of heritage grains, but they don't know what goes behind it. It's so much more than that. They literally give us this little pouch and off you go and you take your ears to develop enough seeds to, for you to have a crop. And then after like from five five grams to 25 grams to 100 grams to a couple of kilos then for you to have uh to have enough to to grow uh, a crop for you to have a recipe like in uh for water for distillery we our uh, recipe is 120 tons so imagine like <laughs> we get 120 tons out of a little pouch these size it takes a couple of years so there's a lot of uh, effort and a lot of mindfulness that goes into that and then once that comes out, there's a whole different uh, ball game because there are uh, there is those type of grains that hasn't been brewed in so long. We can't trade those seeds with anyone else, and um, not as a viable seed because basically the way the rules of Europe are set up right now, it says that these using trading these heritage grains would threaten food production in Europe. So therefore, it's illegal for me to give this seed to any other farmer. To trade a grain, it needs to be a distinct variety. It needs to be uniform, stable, and distinct. Whereas that mixture basically is not stable because it's a mixture. It's not uniform because it's a mixture. And basically, it will adapt with the seasons. And crucially, what I want to do over the next five to ten years is grow it in Tipperary. And theoretically, it should begin to evolve and adapt to Tipperary, to Northwest Tipperary, where we're growing it. So eventually I'll have my own variety, basically, which will be of this area.